Clyde's were back. Yeah. Yeah. Episode two. I don't know how we're back again, lads. Ah, I don't know how I'm back. No, Jesus. Well. Nice eye as well, so. Nice eye. Nice eye, but I'm on you. Still buzzing after last night. Come on, last night. Oh. What a result. Yeah, brilliant, man. Eh? Great performance. Can't Can ask for any more than that away from home. Yeah. First away game. Brilliant. On the pitches, the pitches was very, very bobbly as well when yeah. we first went out. And dry. I'm very dry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was setting the bomb up. Well. No, no. <laughs> it was, um, but listen, the boys, the boys have been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, amazing. Um, and listen, we're not going to get ahead of ourselves two games in. No, of course. I'm, I'm so, I'm genuinely so proud of them. I'm a, I feel like greeting every time I speak about them. But they've been amazing. They were last night as well, big man, weren't they? they so were. brave to go on the board at times as well. Brilliant. Especially because teams know the way we play. Yeah, and yeah. We, don't, we don't care. We'll take the ball at the back and play. And especially when you've got young boys, yeah. 18, 19, 20 making mistakes but keep taking the ball and, that, and that's what the manager wants so and they had triggers to be fair to them but no the boys played keep through in the, in the interchange of the movement and they couldn't live with us at no. times and Sai will let you know if he's not happy if he's go along won't he? he's, he's not going to shy away from that is he? Uh, si, Sai's an encourager Aye. it's the gaffer you need to watch <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, but can I just say see I, I need to get I, this is my head and I need to get it out before go on, go on going. mate see when you met Sai and obviously I had said a bit of it in the podcast, right? I should never have done it. Listen, it was that. I was going to ask you. Were you going to ask me? Are you just saying that now because I'm sitting here? I'm just, you know what, though, I had to get out because I know it's going to come up at one point. And hey, guys, see when you, when I, I said that about you, but you, did you, did you not give a fuck or were you like, who the fuck do you think he is? I don't care what people think okay. about me. Uh, I've had it my whole career, so... You, everybody's entitled to their opinion, right? And I know you say, you've said to me now, you didn't mean it, but... Aye. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but if I start listening to everybody's yeah, opinion, then I'm, yeah. it's going to get in my head at some point. I'm going yeah. to be knackered. Did you? Were you thinking though? No, when I get in, then I'm going to fucking go for him. No. <laughs> do you want? Do you want to know what? Right. So, I'm good mates with Ross Millen, Andy right. Millen's yeah. boy, and he played with you at Clyde, Clyde, and he he said to me, "Don't say nothing to him. Just stare at him." Oh no, did it? Uh, so, when you come up and you, you're like, brought us me over here, and I just stared at you, and I didn't say nothing. <laughs> and then I walked away and I went, see you at training. And I was like, see you at training? Oh. So I ran out. I ran out of time. I'm like, listen, I think I'm just going to head up the road. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's all right now, isn't it? It's smooth over. No, it's smooth, but did, did you, I seen, uh, listen, I, 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 again, I don't want to be bringing attention to this. <laughs> no, 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 I think we played against each other once. Well, I think we had 10 days at Rangers together before well, I left. Were well, we at Rangers at the same time? Aye, but you were on the allergy most of the time. You were <laughs> on the training. <laughs> it was all on that fucking... I went the big air thing. It takes all your weight so you could oh, run. Oh my God, <laughs> I, I was on that every morning. I wanted to get away. We were at training and he's at the window on this big air thing. <laughs> Sweat pissing out of me and everything. <laughs> we're coming in as a hub. Four foes on that big man. I'm like, it takes all your weight, you're not actually running. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's true though. I never did it kind of way for the fact that uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ali wanted me at a certain weight, so he put me on that machine at that weight and says, this is with the weight we want to get. Uh, but it worked because I got down to the weight. Well, we're big and then they put the heating on full blast. It's like heating the heat on it. I know. Hey, that, that was even the good. worst. Though. That, that, that was only the start of my day. Fucking on that thing and then out to him and then back into the gym. <laughs> Fucking 95 for the first time ever. Tremendous. <laughs> he says, I, uh, you're getting there. I think I'd lost about two stones. Uh, you're getting there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're getting there. Slowly but surely. Excuse now, listen, lads, to celebrate the new partnership, who knows wins are putting a minimum of 10 grand of their money up oh, for grabs. Unbelievable. And uh, in our pick 10 league this week. So, all you need to do is download the Who Knows Wins app. Sign up and enter the pick 10. 10, Ten games. games. Pick win, lose, or drop in each game. Yes, sir. I suppose correct will win the. Hot. Well, so, just trying to give so you don't have to, you don't have to <laughs> correctly guess the full ten. If somebody just gets nine, if someone gets nine, there's money to be won for the runners yeah, up well, as well. And easy. the difference is, at, at Open Goal Broom Hill, we want to win everything. But listen, what I like about this is the runners up also win money. Yep. So, win win. Good on it. Aye, absolutely. Cut Broadfoot. Let's get started properly, mate. Um, talk us through that that spell when Sai came in and spoke about the project here. What, what sold it to? You? 
Uh, well, there was a few meetings, to be honest. Yeah. Um, my agent phoned me, and I'm going to be honest, I'll br be brutally honest here, and he phoned me and said, you want to go to Broom Hall? I just burst out laughing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, that's, and I said, what, you being serious? I just got beaten in a playoff final to make the Premier League. <laughs> you want me to go to the Lowen League? And he's like, no, no, you need to meet him. There's a project here, there's a plan. You'll like it. I was like, right, fair do, so I'll meet him. I went and met Sai, got uh, uh, Sai and uh, uh, Costa, and yeah. to be fair, they were there for about two hours. It's I think like Del paid, actually. Sai's trying to see he's out of pocket. I don't, so and then the next two, my agent died. Ah, so, uh, yeah, 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 see, though, see, when you first went there, and did you have in your head, though, I'm, there's no way I'm signing here, when you, when you were going aye, to meet Sai? Probably, aye. aye. Uh, because I had full-time offers at Championship, yeah. League One uh, at that point. And I could have went back to Inverness as well. So at that point, I was still going to stay full-time. Um, and then it just, we got talking and I, I liked the way he spoke and it's the first time I'd met him and then the project and I was, I was intrigued, I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie. Like, why go and, if it had been disrespectful, go and play with maybe a team? Because I was not going back to Inverness, who I think will be up there one or two this year in the Championship. Why go to a team and play middle of the league, bottom half? Yeah. Just to see it's a season out at my age. Whereas you've got a project here, we're going to go and win, and that's what we want to do. And that intrigued me. And then into the bargain, it's a journey. It's not just a one-off, like, let's go to the Lowland League. Mm. We've got a plan here to go through yeah. the leagues, and he, he wanted me part of it. And I was intrigued, and the only thing that kind of stopped me after that was you. I'm <laughs> only <laughs> 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 joking. No, you but uh, talk, you oh, yeah. you keep so that, that's person. that's where we go, and then Aye. eventually we came to an agreement, and I agreed. But we never actually done anything for two weeks because Sai was away on holiday, I was away on holiday. Yeah. So at ten, it's time, and here we are. Yeah, yeah, and you're still here. You're, yeah, you're not giving up. Yeah, and it's and uh, things are going well, so Amazing. Honestly, yeah. as I said, the boys. I was sitting there last night when the game was going on. I was looking at them out there. It honestly feels like a family. I know that's how you kind of right. I know people people turn about that, but it genuinely does feel like a family. Yeah. And when I see them out there, I see to be fair, when I look at them and at the pitch, it looks like my, it feels like I live in, in my dad's I played. Do you know what I mean? If you yeah. look at your family, you'd think it's your boys or your brothers that I played. It looks like I live in my dad out there. Some, uh, so, that know a wee bit weird. Uh, they know not be your sons because you're the coach, you're <laughs> right, your dad's. <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> <laughs> troubled upbringing. <laughs> 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 They have been unbelievable for the, the first <laughs> day they came in, the work they put in, um, everything size asked to them, um, they're prepared to listen, they take it on board, brilliant, um, and we couldn't be any happier, but as we said, we're no, we're no football, and it's two games in, right. so it's still a long, long way to go, and still, listen, there's still a lot of work the way, there's still a lot of improvements to be made, but as I said, they've been brilliant since we've started. What are you saying then, Kev, how's the commentary been? Well, we missed last night. I know, it's got well there. Two foot, maybe two foot, right? He's sitting eating our own sausage this morning. <laughs> got, a, got a fake one in this morning, so it's all right. You pay for it all, right? Seems like, seems like Where's my coffee? Is that an old one? What you want, big man, to tell me an hour before the game last Stay night? You're doing the podcast tomorrow. <laughs> you Stay want a coffee? Awesome. What are you drinking? Why? Yeah, hey, <laughs> did you not get a coffee on this morning? Wait. No, I was winning yours. To be fair, I did say when well, I get the boys one, the cup one, he went, nah, fuck them. <laughs> can we get, is there any access we can get to coffees at all? No, I don't know, you were the one that made the promises. I'm feeling a bit tired. But no, <laughs> listen, on, on the court on Saturday, Simon, which I, I, I'm appreciative of, that he asked like, for an honest opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, on what I saw from where I was sitting, and I gave him one, and he, he says, no, that's a really good analysis. He enjoyed, obviously, the questions afterwards. And it's different, um, it's something new, but it's great to actually watch players um, and see what they're doing wrong yeah, and yeah. try and give a wee bit of information back to try and help the team because obviously they have the, like Slaney's coach and you've got Derek, the experience mm. of Simon's experience. It's, it's a good wee thing to be a part of, you know what I mean? Aye, um, from a different point of view, but um, no, I think by all accounts last night, having spoke to Slaney, in the way that the journey back into the, the podcast today said that last night was much better, kept the ball yeah. better, passed it better, a bit more patient. Um, <laughs> and they said, with guys coming in though as well, it helps guys coming in there. Uh, it's, the it's, the it's the same in all teams. Like on Saturday, they had a makeshift hold the midfielder in, in mm. Conroy because Conroy is normally a fullback. This time Conroy goes back, yeah. Fraser comes in, yeah. the balance is going to be a wee bit better. And obviously, Saini was saying that sometimes he came too short, Cup was telling to stay further up the park. and 
that's the, the trust in each other. So it's good yeah. that the things are going well. But like Sleeney says, you're two games in, you're not going to get carried away. But it's a great start. There's still loads to do, and oh, totally. we'll see how things. I go. think Saturday as well. The bo- some of the boys will be nervous. Yeah. It's the first game. There was a lot of publicity about that it. Uh, and that then showed. the second half, yeah. we played a wee bit better. Yeah. Um, but I think the early goal helps last night as well. Settles the boys straight um, down, and then yeah. they're confident in the play. But no, definitely. Can't really played in teams that um, once you start gaining results and momentum, you then go out with a fear of you're not going to lose today. Yeah. And that only can happen with result. So Saturday, that nervousness, what, 72 hours later, mm. an even better performance. Yeah. And then obviously you've got several, is it Bay, Bay City Strollers this weekend? <laughs> got them this weekend. <laughs> this is several Strollers away. It's another away game, which is what you're wanting. They got off to yeah. a good start. Did they beat, um, did they know beat Rangers? Rangers? Right. 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 So it's another tough, but that's the games you want to come because it gathers momentum. And if you get yeah. another good result on Saturday, then you've got to be thinking, right, okay, here so we go. Winning becomes a habit, it's and exactly losing yeah. becomes a habit yeah. if you get into that rut as well. So it's, it becomes it's a habit. A great start. Yeah, boys become test, confident. Yeah. Give me yeah. the ball yeah. if you're winning. And so boys, other boys scoring. It was three different scorers aye, last night. Aye. Two, so it's, <coughs> two games now the aye. left back scored. Two mm. games, and I think the foot. James Grant set both of them up, the other, the right back. Yeah, yeah. So that just shows you the football Superb, they played. So I know, amazing. But well, what we'll say is as well, the boys in the team are going to get them on as well. See what they're ah, doing. exactly, yeah, yeah. The camera, see if they've got a big bag of balls on them. Know what I mean? Just a reminder, this is what this pod. We could grill you on all your career stuff, uh, yeah. cut and get some great stories out of you. But obviously, Open Goal FC podcast. It's about the lower leagues, about the boys in the dressing room. And on that note, uh, what is the group like, cut from your perspective? How are, how are the lads? Well, to be fair, I've only been there two weeks, um, yeah, so it's yeah. quite early doors. I'm still getting to know people, and they're still getting to know me but the sound there's some characters I'm not going to lie uh, but no <laughs> last night Name we obviously won yeah. this maniac and the three other ones are doing dancing straight away as if we'd won the cup do you know what I mean and I'm just sitting there like don't get too high don't get too Close. low and they're doing a shuffle in the dressing room and I'm like what's going on here the two games into the season as Kev says I get so over excited though like Oh, that, do you know I mean, I just fucking, it's been me, I'm either right or there. <laughs> if you get beat, I'll be fucking screwed on the ground, yeah. I mean. We'll not see you for two weeks. No, I'm going to be back. But you will need to adapt to that, surely, as no, the season goes on, won't you? Mean, and I just say, we're no, we can't be stupid on that. Uh, it's only two games in. Probably after, <laughs> after the game, it is. It's obviously so hot, so we will be, nah. sometimes we'll be bouncing about and bouncing right. about, and it's up to totally. you just to say, listen, relax. Nah, you need to enjoy right. the wins. Aye, right. but after uh, that, you... You calm down, and then, because you know, as you said, it's only two games. Right. Well, we go again Saturday, and then all of a sudden, you get beaten Saturday, and then, you, as you say, you go bang, right. and it's a reality check. So right. we need to just keep that level playing field, because we will have lows, and we will yeah. have highs like last night. So if you keep that, it sees you over the season. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the level, obviously, going from Inverness, and then to the Lowland League, but it's not your first taste of Lowland League football, is it? Auckland like Talbot uh, back in the day? Well, that was junior. That wasn't a junior, that wasn't the first team. That yeah. was probably under 14s. Was it? Aye, yeah. and then I went to Hibs as a youth at 16 when I yeah. left school. So, yeah, Auckland like Talbot are a good club at that level. Yeah. Um, you see the amount of trophies they've won. So, it's, it's a good upbringing for a small village to win that totally. amount of trophies. But, yeah, um, hopefully. The, they come up this year and we got and we don't see them. He's <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. uh, obviously from that area. Are you an Ocalec man? No. No. Cumnick? No. No. Oh. So obviously they two are rivals, so uh, I'm just curious to see. Well, I went to Ocalec Academy, <laughs> right. so I would say Ocalec <laughs> over Cumnick, yeah. but. I'm originally from Drungan, so we don't like any of the two of them. Oh, so. right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a good thing. Good, good ah, you are well, exactly. Uh, where, where is, uh, He's uh, loyal. He's See, uh, he's sorry loyal. to be butting in again, but see, um, when you came through there and you're training there, what were the coaches like for then to the coaches now in Lowland League? Well, <laughs> were you similar? <laughs> well, we didn't have a lot more running. Well, I don't know about the first week when I came here. Oh, what was I doing, man? Jesus, 9k uh, pure runs. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so he put me in with all the wee runners. Nah, was like, group, oh, I was, was Cammy's like, 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 Cammy's the fitness boy, he said put brothers up with the fitness group. I'm coming 38 next week and they're uh, putting me in with the wee runners, <laughs> testing me in my first day after nine weeks. How'd you hold running. up? How'd you hold up? I got in, in the times. <laughs> <laughs> the running's great though, mm. because it's no that like, the serious slogs where you're just running. Uh, just, uh, running. That that interval, was uh, it's interval training. Yeah. Is that level lonely stuff? Is it the sort of characters you people expect, like hard folk down there? Is it tough? Is it a battle, or is there more quality than people realise? I think there's more quality yeah. than people realise. 
I think it's how teams managers set them up. If you look yeah. at us and you come at us and you would think, oh, they're, they're a good team at pass the ball and all mm-hmm. that. It's like, I think most teams have got a set way of playing. Like even Talbot, you look at them, they've got mm-hmm. a set way of playing. They'll, they'll no deny it. It's hard to beat yeah. playoff seconds. Maybe it gets a stigma about it, but I think there's, there's always you can win a game of football. Right, exactly. and who's to mm-hmm. say what's right and what's wrong? At the yeah. end of the day, who, who cares how you play if you win 1-0? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a good mm-hmm. point because there's a lot of emphasis in the modern game about how you play. Every manager's got a different style. And you, you look at the players and squad that you have. <coughs> Sai's been fortunate that <coughs> he's been able to start a team from scratch. So he's picked players that will yeah. fit his style yeah. of play and they're playing that way. Yeah. Had Simon come in to say Open Goal, Broomhill, we're already, they were already there. That had they come in and said they had two big strikers who were yeah. decent like Saturday, yeah. the big boy course, Henderson yeah. for Spartans and the number 15 that came on, I think it was McCann or McCall or something. Yep. They were decent, tall. Had they been there, had Simon maybe adapted his way of playing, yeah. you just don't know. It's yep. like crap says, play to your strengths. At the yep. end of the day, it's a result-based business. You're not going to climb through these leagues by playing happy football Aye. and keeping everybody amused. Oh, that was great football, but we got beat. Yeah. You might get points. points but say he's, 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 won't change. No, that's no. Not that. Listen. I know he won't change. He'll adapt within the game at certain points in the season. Yeah. But it'll still be the same philosophy. Fundamentals. Yeah. The deck. You've yeah. had a few fucking hard battles, haven't you, the first two games? Well, they physically... But that boy last night just kept on. I think he had something against me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> just kept leaning one on me. Yeah. I, I asked him, look, what's your problem? It's only football, it's only football. I'm like, well, kick the ball, pal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there will be folk that want to, it's like the scalp thing, isn't it? They want to get a result over, over you, lads. Like, That's you their cup that. final, but a lot of people's yeah. cup final. Something said to me yeah. Saturday, it's the circus that surrounds it, right? Yeah. That's fine, that's a compliment. Yep. Because the circus has got a wee bit of interest. Yeah. So for me, somebody on the outside, this is what you want. You want to be the scalp. Yeah, of course. more determined to, when they come to your ground or you go to their ground and they think, I will take, turn them over the day. See when it goes the other way and you turn mm. them over, they go away totally. disappointed. And that's what happened Saturday yeah. Spartans. They went away home really disappointed Saturday. Yeah. They'll come back, they'll try again, they got a good result last night and Cowden and Beast will be the same. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're not worried about what's going on round about it. It's about getting three points on a Saturday or a Tuesday yeah. night and go forward and so It far. does annoy me though when people say that, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't even Don't think, it. think about it at no. all, but if they actually come and watch the training watch and see the boys, the, the, the stuff about the whole day and the work they're doing, that is really yeah. different about it. It's, couldn't it be more professional if you tried. Yeah. You do so. your talking on the park pole and yeah. that's what's happening. Yep. The, the right. talking is the, the, the good passing, good moving, good goals. Yeah. Five goals in two games, it's a good yeah. start. Yeah. Conceded one. You've played a team who finished fourth yeah. and a team that's came down for League Two as yeah. well. Yeah, so you, you've not played... Mugs. Any mugs, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. and you've you've scored six um, five, five goals and yeah. conceded one. It's not a bad start. How do you find the adjustment? Uh, you were talking before this, mate, about adjusting to training in the evenings. Now, it's obviously a, something that probably folk wouldn't think about. Is that adjustment that you've had? Yeah, to it's think, so. well, it's been difficult. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Games take care of themselves because yeah. you you prepare during the day for that. But training wise, like I'm used to getting up and going straight to training, and the body's adapting because it's it's saying well, what's going on why are you yeah. not training yeah. and because you're waiting to eight o'clock at night to train but that'll come over the weeks uh, and as i say the, the training's hard it's not as if i could do a wee bit yeah and then come because training's intense and it's it's proper up there so uh, so if i come tired i'm going to look like a, a dick to be honest yeah so. hey, what about your first night when you turned up and there was no kit ready for your towel how was that is that it's oh. just after we were being So I've had to walk back in and go, just get your kit on. He was like, there isn't any kit. <laughs> so that was one of the things as well when I met Sai and I'm like, look, Sai, is, is this proper? Is, he's like, no, this will be professional. Yeah. Proper, we do everything right. I was like, right, OK, as long as it's professional, because I don't like looking into a fucking shit show. And he's like, no, no, no. And then when you meet Sai and he's proper on it, and then I come in the first night, he's come up to me. I went in, right, where's my kit? I just stared at you that. We just locked her in. <laughs> Aye, there's nane. <laughs> You're straight on the phone, phoning somebody. <laughs> the boy was meant to be there early, but it was a mix-up or whatever. Um, but of course, it had to be me. He just keeps staring at you. Didn't know oh. what to do with it. <laughs> what just teasing problems, oh, Just teasing problems. Did he think you were the kit man when you came in that first time? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be better off, <laughs> 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 
we talk, we, we spoke about uh, the kind of scrapping and the, the guy going free in the game. What's the, at that level, we'll see, you'll probably see a bit of scrapping as well, though. That's one of the appeals, probably, that a lot of folk will want to go along and see that. We've well, seen that on Saturday, the first yeah. tackle was some 50 yeah, 50. Yeah. Uh, that, I don't mind that side of the game. Um, if you've watched me over the years, yeah. it's probably suits me getting into a fight, to a battle. Yeah, exactly. uh, What's the worst or the biggest you've seen on the pitch? The biggest fight? Yeah. Oh. God, good question. <laughs> probably like a full team Rami, aye. aye. So it would probably Celtic Rangers, wouldn't it? When aye, it's like that movie, Coyston Lenny. Aye. Oh, jeez, of course. Davey aye. obviously had Gary Caldwell with the throat as well, and Magic wouldn't he go off after Who the rest of it. Davey Weir. Davey Weir had aye. Gary Caldwell Aye, the throat, aye. <laughs> <laughs> and aye, Magic is sent off, graft, and, and, Juf, oh. and they win the graph, and then there was like a Rami after That's it. Class. That would probably be the biggest, and, right, that, big one. and then you'd politicians talking about it as well. So, <laughs> well, that was it. Like, that was ah, yeah, it. Really people were going to be saying they were going to get arrested. Not that one. At that time, if it happened again, mm -hmm. I'm surprised if Davy be that. Davy comes across as the big gentle giant, but this now. Well, think amount of players that go into a pitch and it, it just flips. Oh, that was Peasy. Nah. That was well, we called him Peasy. That was Davy. That's what he was like. We went on that pitch and he flipped. Same with Andy Mullen I played with. Nicest guy off it. Oh, we went on that pitch. Wow. Yeah. Andy Millen's I think in all my time of football when he goes <laughs> he yeah. fucking goes yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anybody go the way Andy it. Millen goes what are your experiences with Mill? Oh, he was just a, he was an unbelievable guy but I didn't I don't want to see him as the coach uh, so he's as Kevin oh, brother coach. said he's the nicest guy ever so when people sit to me he was an animal on the pitch I just couldn't see it yeah, yeah. and you get to know him he's got a wee switch in there oh aye a lot do, don't they? Like, there are different oh, people no, on the No, but there's people, there's people that this can go serious, like, <laughs> People <laughs> that can get angry. And then there's the point where Andy Millen could possibly like go to jail for murder. That's <laughs> kind of weird. But don't decide. And some of the tackles, even if you go in and Google some aye. of the pictures in his name. Aye. But joke aye. aside in terms of a person. One of the best. Aye. Aye. What about some of the names you've worked with in your career? Obviously, like Sir Evans and, and Warnock. What were they like as managers? Yeah. <laughs> Aye, here we go. Characters. Yeah. I'll start with Neil. Neil was brilliant with me. Uh, he came into the club and made me captain straight away. But then he would pull me before a game and he'd be like, right, boys are a wee bit low today. I'm going to come for you in the team talk. I'm like, what do you mean? You're getting a bit right. Just so I, I lift the spirits up with the boys. So we're playing Burnley away, doing the team talk after pre-match and he's like that. Right, they've got the big boy up front and the wee fast striker. If brothers is left one and one, we're fucked, boys. I'm sitting there. <laughs> we're, we're playing them in an hour and a half here and I'm your captain and you're giving me some. And the boys are all pissing themselves, relaxed and all of that. And then we're walking on the bus and say, I told you. That would relax them. <laughs> Going to punch you now. But no, what a guy. Uh, brilliant. Uh, you would win, beat Redden away, 1-0, Tuesday night. Right, boys, see you Friday. I'm going home for a swim in my swimming pool and take my Aston Martin a wee drive. <laughs> see you Friday. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant guy, but great coach. Yeah. Oh, the way he set the team up on a Friday, how he beat. He did, there was a guy who had a, a way of playing and it worked. Yeah. So yeah. it was like, we had big Greg Halford would come halfway line, two centre backs would go up for a long throw <laughs> into Greg the box. Oh, oh, he could throw a ball. Aye, so. He get some moves off it though, Greg. Could he, uh, could, did you ever see him losing it to somebody? Oh, aye. Yeah. aye. Any real bad ones? So we get beat 1-0, I think it was Birmingham away. At this point, we were maybe three points in the relegation. He's sitting ball and he get <laughs> foot up and then going, a fucking chance have you got, lads? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? My reputation's in the line. <laughs> We're fucked. We're playing the top six next. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and fair enough, we went in the nine game and beat all the top six. Was he naked and stayed up? Team top there. <laughs> <laughs> so superstitious. Don't wash my tracksuit. We've not been beat. Oh, my God. Fucking I hell. swear to God. Will you have any wee superstitious things, Slaney, on the boys or on a run? Will you do things the same I'd, from game to game? Um, no, I did, actually. I forgot he for two weeks. <laughs> I've really seen knickers. I've really seen knickers. Same knickers? What so, ones? What? Yours are the... Same knickers, I've <laughs> The farm food ones. I've really seen pants and then I'll always... Because last night there was no need for the Prima Kings table and that pitch was sword. And I ended up... <laughs> the full game, mate, I was standing on concrete. Because <laughs> the, the way it worked was... Because I tipped where there was the grass. Prima Kings. So I've been my fit about... <laughs> but I was standing on concrete the full 90 minutes. So there's no need for them. But I'll not take them off. They're on now for the season. Till we get beat. Till we get beat. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, seriously, it's in the back of my head. What do you think? It's me as a coach so far. Uh, it's been limited. You're good at knowing the time, isn't it? Oh, all you hear is time. Swain, what's the time? Two minutes to go. How long are they going, Swain? See, with the. I did come up to you, though, didn't I? And I asked, I asked him about. Because I think, do you know what? A lot of coaches go in there and, and they've got that arrogance as if, oh, I know, I'm going to tell you what but I don't. So I went up to you, didn't I? And I asked you what's. Well, I ask you exactly, tell me everything today. It's because you're a winger as well, and I'm a defender, and you're taking the defence before the one up, and he's like, what will I do with you? <laughs> I'm like, just get us in a back four, put it up, make sure one attacks and three get round. It's, it's simple That's stuff. That's how we work it, though, do you know what I mean? Of course. Didn't you say they keep ball bit and all that? Aye. No, I know. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. I said that to say. Obviously, size delivers the session stuff, but it's not enough for me just to sort. Of, I need to be there to deliver. Sai has the full confidence in me to do that, and at the moment, I've no gave him that for him to feel that. But but that will come though, won't it? It comes with confidence. The more you'll be fine, don't worry about it. But the manager that who I worked under and you were. Player with Matt Barry Ferguson. Do you Aye. still speak to him or? No, as much now, but I used to speak to him a lot because we travelled together and lived a lot. Yeah. Um, but Fergie was intense. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no getting away from it. Uh, some of the, the shouts that used to come out of his mouth, you know, a wee bit, like, oh, that's touching bone there a wee bit. But it's it's just, as a manager or a teammate or both? Both. Aye. Both. If, if you couldn't handle Fergie, then you couldn't play with Rangers or yeah. Blackpool. And then when he came to me as a manager, it was just the same. See, when you went into Rangers, though, were you... And he, did he go into you right away? Oh, aye. Did he? First day. How did you deal with that? Went back him. Did you? Aye. Did he appreciate that? Like, you going back a bit? Is that what he looks for from well, the team? Well, yeah? I'm not sure, aye. to be honest. But I went and spoke to him after and just said, look, I'm not being disrespectful, aye. but I'm not meaning to make mistakes. I don't need you to tell me I'm a fucking... Cunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's, a good, a, that's, that's a good point because a lesser person or somebody with no, nothing about him would just sit there and take it. Yeah. And maybe yeah. maybe could, career could go the other way because they think they're inferior to where they actually are. Whereas yeah. he's went and questioned. Yeah. I would imagine Fergie would have been the, the captain. captain eh? He's yeah. went and questioned the captain and said, Look, I'm not meaning to make mistakes here. Yeah. Fergie probably actually thought, fucking hell, he's got something about him. Yeah. Probably a different ah, light yeah. on cut for that reason. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, like Paul, you've talked about it openly in the past, where if things weren't going well, you'd maybe shy away from things. Yeah. Well, there's the, there's the other example of no shying away, going and actually having yeah. a, a conversation, letting them know, and like I say, you end up, how long did you end up spending the Rangers after that? Five years. Five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been five years. months, yeah. hadn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Stood up for himself yeah. and believed in what he was. I was always a believer of. I don't care if you make nine mistakes out of ten. Yep. I would rather have a player that does that than a player that makes one mistake and then hides for the ah, rest yeah, of the game exactly. and doesn't get stick because he's no made mistakes. You would rather somebody that makes mistakes and takes the stick and says, who cares, that's part of football. Was yeah. there a big difference in him though as, as a captain in the dressing room to being a manager, did you find? A wee bit, aye, because obviously we travelled for a, pretty much a season, lived in a flat together, then he becomes a manager of Blackpool, moves out the flat, doesn't say morning to you, because he, cause he <laughs> had... Crazy, that, isn't it? Well, I asked him about it, and he said, oh, I just had to let you know I was the boss, which is the way he did it, and that yeah. was fine, but yeah. I was just... I asked him, and I said I was a wee bit disappointed with that relationship, and then... It's just, just yeah. but, uh, but in terms of a player, Fergie was up there with one of the best I'd played with. Was he? Aye. He's got to be, didn't he? Aye. That's what I always thought when like, I always I've talked about the past the, the podcast about him playing with Scotland and felt that same way mm -hmm. you did. But now you haven't spoken to him on the podcast after finishing football, I understand that the guy just had standards Aye. and just yeah. wanted to win. So I get that he's a lot more mellow now, but at that time it was a fucking skate. And you obviously had him slain as your manager, do you know what I mean? You felt that probably same mm -hmm. presence as a manager. When he would have a go at you one day for maybe no performing or not doing the things he asked you to do. I, and see, when I went in it, to be fair, he was. The training was brilliant, the intensity was brilliant, but I think it was. 
that maybe that other side, the man management side of when maybe things don't go so well. Aye, maybe to come and speak to you, have a wee arm round Maybe something like that, the boys didn't really react to well, but yeah. oh, listen, it's management's very hard, isn't it? But that's well, it, it's different. Uh, yeah. What about size as a manager with that side of things? Is there wee tricks or differences that you've noticed in my size since he's took over? Um, no, he's, listen, the size is intense, but he's... He's, um, he's no... I don't want to say I'm scared and say a certain thing here. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> no. no, I just wonder if, like, you know, as a manager, if he, he will, like, turn to you as a coach and be like, look, this part of it, I want you to take, obviously. Well, no, I, well definitely, I think that because he is very intense, si, yeah. um, that it would, but I think the most important, see, when he, so when training's going on, I think it's good for a manager sometimes to, to take that step back that yeah. they can see everything. Sometimes when you're delivering a drill, you're in there delivering it, you're so, so almost concentrating on the the drought itself, aye, aye. seeing how it's going or whatever it is, but when you take that step, you can actually see the whole picture, whereas maybe we'll go in and do that, and I think that's what Sai said, that will eventually happen, um, but no, listen, he's, I think though he's, when he delivers it, the levels just go right through the roof. Aye, so, absolutely. Aye, he's brilliant at what he does, he's not getting away with it, yeah. and as you say, he's intense, and even at the weekend, i seen a different side to him at half time, yeah. like that angry side, yeah. he's kind of what, well, good cop, bad cop, but yeah. not saying size a bad cop, but no, no. at the weekend when he Means yeah, we got a new go round and say, do well, keep playing, keep playing. But Sai doesn't mind you making mistakes. No. That's it, I Do you know what I mean? It, it'll, it'll get more angry yeah. if you don't show for the ball because you've made a mistake yeah. rather than yeah. making the I mistake. Make mistake. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I like because there's managers that will just, like I've played with, when you make that mistake, they're like, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? Aye. Well, what am I doing wrong? Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Sai will tell you what yeah, you've yeah, done yeah. wrong. You've no yeah. moved there. You've no played that pass there. You know yeah. what I mean? There's Do managers that just shout crap, to be yeah, honest. Aye. Just to for the sake of it, aye. Aye, just like, Sometimes, like, the sound of their own voice, where they actually shout the right information things. and let players know, right, OK, I didn't move to the side of the ball there. Next time we do that, I'll move to the side. It's aye. just, no. So, I want to ask a question. <clears throat> When you worked with Fergie, I'd imagine Fergie was a young manager at Blackpool. Ah, that was his first job. So Simon's a young manager. Can you see different comparisons in terms of the two different types of people? First and foremost, do you think Simon has the attributes to go on and be successful as a manager? Obviously, it's only about only, what, three, four weeks into the season. Well, well, you, you've uh, obviously talked impressively of him so far. We have worked with him for the last four or five years in this podcast. I see his dedication towards football and the, the great detail he puts yeah, in certain yeah. things. So he has got a burning ambition to be very, very good at it. What's the early signs like? Well, what I've seen so far, it can go where he wants. Right. And he's got the work ethic as well. Whereas, even though it's part time, I bet you it's 24 7 for Sai now. Yeah. yeah. Um, it'll be constant on his mind, no sleeping, watching videos. Well, I'm probably getting more videos now. Than you ever did? Aye. Aye. Uh, Sai sending videos right. through constantly. And you're like, well, where's he getting the time for this? Because yeah. it's, it's yeah. individual clips and Aye. team clips. It's, mm -hmm. well, so that takes hours. Of course it does, yeah. It's not just a case of watching the game and turning around and saying, Aye, you should have done this, you should have done that. He's showing you and then talking you through it individually, each player. Oh, ain't so, See that there, that part of, of, of football. I coached a, a, a group of kids that are eight years old and they make mistakes. And I would love to be able to show them back on a TV screen, look, uh, this is why, what you did, yeah. this yep. is what you could have done. It's all right me going and doing it on the training session, but to actually show them, whereas to get that information that you are getting, it's so valuable. Yeah, 100%. And what I've found as I've got older and more video analysis come in, you, you think the game's bad, and then you go and watch it back, and it's not as bad as what you think. Yep. Aye. So you're sometimes better no saying too much until you've watched you've it back. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then, because then you can look like a, a dick, really, because <laughs> you've said something and you've like, watched it back and you're like, no, no, you didn't do that, actually. <laughs> whereas you're, you're only seeing it for that split second at the totally. side of the pitch, whereas Kev might see it better being higher, looking course, down. Eh? Well, you spoke about that, didn't you? Yeah, but that's yeah. what he said. He obviously explained he picked up on it this morning. Like he asked the first half, I thought we were poor, yeah. except for Saturday. Second half for 20 minutes, we were better, but then yeah. there was a part, maybe 15 minutes in the middle of the second half, they bombarded us, and in the last kind of 10, 15 minutes, controlled the game and saw it out. But Slaney said, had size watched it back and wasn't happy with the, the full 90 minutes. Yeah. So, in a way, I can, I can see, but there's, there's parts of it that were good, yeah. but it's just different eyes on it all the time, yeah. different levels, size down there, I'm up there. 
Slaney, you're sitting far and a bit back looking from a, from a different thing. And line, sometimes yeah. when you watch a game... <laughs> but I still sit in a change No, but sometimes when you watch a game, even whoever's got the ball and is making the passes, sometimes you don't always need to watch them. Uh-huh. Watch where your other guys are moving. Who's yeah. moving off the ball? Who's making the handles? Who's, who's screaming? Who's shouting for it? Who's encouraging? There's all these different aspects that... Yeah, like, yeah. We, I, I want to be a coach. I want a manager. Cut, I spoke to Kurt before and he would love to get into it and stuff. But like you say, where do you get the time to sit down and watch it's another mad. 90 yeah. minutes you've already seen exactly. and then contact somebody to say, could you take out clip 13 minute to the 15 to the half minute? Yeah. Put it to condense it in a clip, send it to a boy and explain to him, write yeah. down some things and say, look, right, Conroy, you're coming too deep Saturday. Yeah. One, they're getting on the ball enough. Like, where do you find the time to do that? But that's, the, yeah. that's what all modern day coaches right. are doing yeah. now they're doing that and then prepare goal. for another game yeah. back in the day yeah. Yeah. you first started football I first started football the manager would leave the same time as you did at training ground right. it's only later on in the career you now see managers leaving at 4 or 5 o'clock because that's so probably what they're doing yeah yeah of course yeah uh, I want to talk about Paul Vince at Blackpool what was he like how did you get on with him I thought he was very good Hi. Aye. in terms of coach in terms of just we bits of a game he would bring you up well you yeah. look at the level he played at um, exactly. and he had that arrogance about him that he wanted you to have which I really liked I thought he was he was brilliant and he was good good with, good with the Scottish boys down there so he was yeah. uh, he liked us because we were at it every day yeah. and he didn't like slackers so yeah. I thought Paul like Lins was a top coach and you can see he's still right, of coaching at Reading now at the top level yeah. in the championship so I thought he oh, was one. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. What about the group, obviously, at Broomhill? Are they, can I go into you for a bit of advice, talk to you with the experience that you've got, any of the younger lads? So, so a couple far? have come up. Um, I don't know if they're a wee bit shy or intimidated yeah. a wee bit yet. As I say, I've only been there two weeks. They're figuring me out, I'm figuring them out. Like, it's, it's hard because I probably went in there, oh, they've got a stereotype of me. Yeah. Whereas I'm just a normal guy that plays football, but wants to win and yeah. trains his nuts off every time I do yeah, it. Of course. So once that settles down and they see me, then they maybe come. But they don't even need to ask. They just see what I'm doing. Like the gym, yeah, from yeah. pre-act before games. But these are these wee things will take you to the next level yeah, if you yeah. want to be a full-time footballer. I'm assuming that was one of the things that Sai said to you when he was bringing you in. Like, obviously bringing in someone of that experience leading into that. Oh, it's massive, massive, isn't it? For like, That's because when they cross that line on the Saturdays, then up to the players then. Yeah. And then you being on that pitch is almost like, a coach on the pitch as well, of course. which will help them, the boys out. Yeah. Aye, definitely. Yeah. I, I, I've made a career helping people during the pitch, totally. do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, listen, the, the, this, listen get, getting caught in the open goal in this first season is a coup. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you saw the reaction, didn't you? Because, like Slaney says, it's all right putting boys that have played league football in a team together, having yeah. other younger kids, but to have somebody that can help guide them on the park, that's huge. Yeah. It has to be huge. Of course it does, yeah. Um, we've spoken about managers and assistant coaches that like you've got with Saudi. <laughs> Talk about the likes of McCoyst and these guys that you've worked with. How do they compare to what you're working with? Is there a resemblance that you see those two? Well, he's, you probably, probably, he's probably got more goals than you've got games. Fucking 100%. <laughs> <laughs> in one season. In one season. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. What was Coyste like? Was he... So obviously I had Coyste as an assistant and a manager because he'd yeah, turn yeah. over. Uh, Coyste was brilliant because he came in to train at St Mun when I was there as well yeah. and I think that's what helped me get the move to Rangers and yeah. he's seen how I trained every day but it was obviously brilliant with me. Um, at that time though, Coyste only done a little, it was more Kenny Medill that took it and obviously Walter overseeing everything. Yeah. Um, but Coyste used to still train and you could see he was he still had it. We used to call him the Rhino. <laughs> So he yeah. just battered people out the way and finish. <laughs> well, it's got to finish it, Did he put the sessions on? Well, when it was we all set up when we went out, so I would think it would be him and Kenny. Kenny. Yeah. So it would. But uh, no, a great guy and great person, uh-huh. but had a ruthless side to him. Did he? Oh, aye. I might mean, need to get that. Well, I was going to ask you because like, we spoke to Sai last week in the podcast about if he's had a chat with some managers he's worked with just to get little tips on the way on this journey to becoming a manager. What about you as no, a coach? No, nobody's helped me at all. <laughs> <laughs> but will you, will you need to... You know, I, need, need, I need, what I want to do is go out and watch Aye, teams, exactly. do you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. watch how they do it and watch... It's merely the, the, the sizes of things and the, yeah. the rotations and all that side of stuff. Um, that, that, that's up to me to go out there and actually go and watch that. Because like, people can show you a bit of paper or somebody can do it or whatever. It's not the same. I can't take it in. 
Aye. Somebody tells me, do this, doesn't register my brain, yeah. so I need to go in about that. So you're a visual learner? Aye. Really, a speedy somebody telling you? Yeah. yeah. No, 100%, I must be a visual learner, as the big man said, so I'll be in about the clubs and... Uh, Watching. <laughs> Watching it. <laughs> I said to Paul, because I've been going around a few clubs trying to pick up ideas. And I don't want to go with you, I don't. I do. I don't. <laughs> and, uh, so he'll be coming to me and I can see why he's like that, because I'm a bit like him where yeah. you can write something in a piece of paper and pretend to move bits of, draw lines and stuff, but see when you actually yeah. see it and you think, ah, oh, right, okay, yeah. I could maybe do it this way. But no, that's a, that's a thing that'll come in time, Paul. Did you ever see McCoy's going through a boy? Oh. Any individual player? Can you oh. use a name now? Did you do that? Oh. Aye, I seen him go through Charlie Adam. <laughs> At Celtic Park, yeah. Was he? Aye. What was that like? Was that the was it that game? That was no, that was a different game. That was a game we beat him four two. Uh, the ball got just through the dugout and Charlie smashed it into the Celtic dugout and it just missed Gordon Stratton but inches. And he went in at half time and Coyste was like, What'd you do that for? Charlie's like, What do you mean? And he was like, what the fuck did you do that for? He was like, I oh, just kicked in the dugout. Well, don't do it! We don't do that here. Don't be disrespectful. You could have took that manager's head off. Wow. Fair play. Yeah, so he had that respect and that. And wow. How did Charlie Adam react to that when, when he gets that well, Can't say much, can you? No, of course he was right in his face. But at that time, Charlie was young, but Charlie's matured yeah. an awful lot. Yeah, so of he was daft Charlie back then. So he was. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a lot of respect. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That battle. That's unreal, aye. Aye, 100%. That's amazing, that's a good that's what it was. That's what it was all about, the yeah. Coy Steen Walter. It was all about respect, no uh, matter who you play. Different See that game, that, the other game with Lenny McCoy, could you, did McCoy ever tell you what was said? No, nah, not really. No, I'm, was, I'm not actually sure about actually sure. happened. I don't think anybody will ever find it. What was actually no. said, it probably was fucking... But I do know stupid. one thing. Coy a hardy. He can handle his Can he? Oh, aye. Yeah. Might need to get that. They don't mess with the <laughs> 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 Solid, that's when you shake, shake that. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, I can imagine. Aye. What was it like actually during that spell with Rangers at, at you know, third division, stuff like that, coming back up, playing at these sorts of games with a club like. Well, I only played four games. Did you I left. Four games? Yeah, uh, I went to Blackpool when we oh, went yeah. into Division 3. Yeah. Uh, my, my five years at Rangers was amazing. Like, I went for St Mum. Yep. We just stayed up. Went in the first season, the way for Cup final. Uh, get beaten the last day for the league, won the yeah. two cups. So I went from one to the other, and then the next three seasons we won the league three in a row. Yeah. We're 15 points clear, and then went into administration and lost that league. So it was eventful Crazy to say time, that. Aye. Absolutely. So and so four games you played then at that level, and then you, you left? Aye? Then I left, aye. Yeah. Like I spoke to Coyster, who was the manager at that time. Yeah. Probably couldn't get Rangers at the unluckiest time, really. And he wow. said, like, you just got to try and play at the highest level you can because it's a short career. And that was one of the stumbling blocks of coming here. But then when you took everything out of the picture, like I explained to you like, why you go and just yeah. sit at my table team if it was disrespectful. Um, so that's why I went down to the championship at Blackpool. Yep. And I so loved it in England. See, in England, see, that time, did Rangers try to keep a hold of you? Because obviously I know for me going there that some players were still getting paid a handsome Salary. Would that did it, or were they just hell bent on getting rid of some of the guys? How? Because obviously Jig stayed, Aye. Neil Alexander Aye. stayed, no Lee Wallace, the boy stayed for Wallace. a wee while, Aye. Lee Wallace stayed for a wee while, and then the rest was all kind of new. Surely yourself, the, 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 the experience you would have had at that point, you could have possibly stayed and helped guide the team back. No, the no, definitely. I circumstance. I always wanted to try England. Like, yeah. I had that in the back of my mind. Yeah. And, it was, as you say, I was, like, I was on a good wage at the time mm. to be playing third division in yep. Scotland if it had been disrespectful. And I had a chance to go down to England at Blackpool, who at that yep. point it was middle of August, we were five points clear at the top of Champions yep. Championship. And I just jumped at it, to be honest, and I went. Yeah. And that, that was the reason why. Like, Championship. no, what you say, it's yeah. Championship is a great league. It's, right. it's constant Tuesday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. It's just... Like you say, it's a short career as well, though. Like That's when the opportunities yeah. like this, you don't yep. know when they can next come around. So and that, I was only what twenty-seven at the time, so uh, I was just prime, really. Like, yeah, just yeah. starting. We, you spoke about this last week, Kev. Like some of the some of the lads that, that Science Lane are working with and Kurt Stranema, young lads that could go back up again and kind of kick it at that level. That that's a big a big pull as well. I was going to ask. See the boy Grant at right back. What kind of age is he? Twenty twenty-one. Right. So there you go. Saturday he was brilliant. Yeah. 
last night by all accounts was very good yep. again the boy Simple scored yep. last week he didn't do a lot in the game right no. but see what he did do in the game it was effective, effective. Mm-hmm. and that there's an art and a skill to that that's somebody who's got this up here and for me I think that whatever's happened to him at Motherwell and leaving Motherwell mm. somewhere along the line he's lost his way in football but I think this is a massive opportunity for him and yeah. the other boys like Grant and maybe even Gary Fraser to a point like there's no reason why they, they can stay and join the journey if it goes well but if they really push themselves to the levels they feel they can get to the only way is up for the guys yeah, they've, yeah. Got to re- they've really got to believe that he, he's working with them day in day out and you probably say the same like t- Simple's got unbelievable touches around his feet there's, there's loads of players there but <sighs> what I try and tell to him it's no bit or oh, having a great touch on Megan someday. Yeah. It's about being consistent and disciplined yeah. every day yeah. to do the same, to come in, work hard, make sure your body's ready, repair, yeah. recover, go again. Because it's okay doing it one game and then not seeing you for another four. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's fine. You might get lucky and somebody's there and they see you in that one game, you might get moved. But see if you're doing it, most big teams will watch you over a few yeah. games. If you're doing it week in, week out, somebody will come and take you. Yeah. yeah. L- I'm not going to ask for crazy money See here. See the likes in Simple's position. In, in any league from Scotland, say, third division, second division, sorry, championship, second, first championship, see a good striker? They all do the oh, same things. Uh, and yeah. see the likes of Simple there. If he was to go into, say, a Queen's Park or a Cove Rangers who would be quite maybe be doing well in the championship, possibly with a bit better quality around him, yeah. he could kick so. on. Yeah, yeah. But you have to believe that that can happen. Yeah. Whereas if you're just happy playing in the lower leagues of football, yeah. that's where you'll stay. Aye. You have to aspire to get somewhere. Yeah. And like, listen, boom hill, open goal, why do you keep the best players? There's yeah. no, that, that nobody wants to let anybody go. Yeah. But you're young and you're hungry and Simon says the same, you do well, you do well for me, we'll look after you. Yeah. And that's what happens. Well, it fits in with the aspirations of, of the club, it does, doesn't it? Like to drive them through and, and go up. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, it's, it, it, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, so I mean, no, you've not spoken about it. Did you play with Andy? Hardy? Aye, Andy, aye. Ah, I played with Andy at Blackpool. Like <laughs> what a guy. Legend, isn't he? Uh, I don't like to bum him up too much. No, no, but what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Brilliant guy. What about him, mate, well, in particular, without bumming him up too much? As a player or as a person? Both. As a player, as a player. As a player, yeah. Andy, he was, he was another one at it all the time. Yeah. Uh, could play any position in the pitch, which I think teams need. Totally. Um, probably didn't get the credit he was due, because he was left-back, centre-mid, mm. left-wing. Yeah. Um, could play anyway and would do a job and give it all. But as a player, he was up there for me and I travelled with him for a wee while. <laughs> He can drink, by the way. Ah, he can sit away, can he? I am just sitting there. Normal. Has he? Because the age he's getting, he's obviously taking care of that going on. I thought it was maybe under the thumb. (laughs) 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 Yeah, 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 engaged there, of course. Yeah. That as well. Yeah. That's what he's telling me, Paul. No, he's listening. He's fucking. Yeah, he's getting. By the way, he's got one of the mentalities. What you're saying is. If he gives the ball away, he goes oh, away, right. doesn't he? Right, Andy doesn't care who, but people no, say about him. Yeah, yeah. you know he'll give the ball away ten times and take it that eleventh. Even if he's getting that big groan. Get away, I've now. had that many a time. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, we've got a, a bit of a who knows wins pick ten challenge that's to do here. We spoke about it at the start of the podcast. But we're going to run through ten games and just want to pick a winner from each one. We we'll just want crack a pen. on, eh? You want, want a pen, pen do you? Aye, because I want to know this down to see who gets most between me and Slaney. <laughs> right. Start it off then, Cup, you can kick us off, mate, with your former club, Livy Rangers. Ah, Rangers, all day of the week. Rangers. Rangers. That's a bit of a clean sweep there. Uh, Cardiff City, Norwich City, lads. Start off with you, Kevin. I'm going for um, Norwich City. Norwich as well. Norwich. No divisive opinions here, lads. Uh, Hearts, Ross County. Hearts. 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 Hearts as well. Kelly, Dundee United, Kev. Oh, this is a tough, tough one, one because yeah, is Kamal is obviously just back in the league. They've made a few signings, but Dundee United, like Selene said the other day, big Fletcher up front, Aye, Charlie I know, in the back. I know. But then Kamal is at home. I'm going to go Dundee United. I don't know how to say that, but Dundee United. Dundee United. You're going to go for your former club? Well, depends if big laughs fit. Yeah, it's course. a big player for him. Can you say draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I guess draw. you can, eh? Yeah. Yeah. you can. Draw it is. Nice. Uh, St Johnston, Hibbs, kick, kick us off, mate. Two of them's not started well this year, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm going to go Hibs. Yep. yep. Hibs. St. Johnson. Oh. Okay, all right. Liverpool, Man City. Oof. Is that charity? Is that the charity shield? Charity shield, that must be. Man City. Man City. Man City. Man City. There we go. Middlesbrough, West Brom. Slaney, you start this one. Um, that's a no-brainer. That's a West Brom all day long. That's a Middlesbrough. Is it? I'm telling you because I think they've got now got Wilder. Aye. Uh, they they of ended the season very strong and I think they'll be a, a force this year. <laughs> <laughs> I think they could have a chance. Kirk? I don't know, Bruce is there, isn't he? I need to back my mate Bruce West Brom. Good man. Good man. Thanks to you, Bruce. Uh, Alex. Alex Bruce. Alex Bruce, yeah. Of course. Sunder and Coventry. Right, yes. Sunder's not had the best pre season at all. You keep Struggles. tabs on things, aren't you? Aye, Drew, we have to pull the all right one, one disappointing. No got in bodies yet. Fancy our market slow. Coventry's been the. Uh, I would absolutely hate to say Coventry, right? <laughs> but I'm going to hate to say Sunderland. Even yeah. though I think Coventry are in. <laughs> Slaney. Sunderland. Go. Go. Good man. St Mirren, Motherwell. Oh, oh, oh interesting this. Go on, Motherwell. Motherwell. St Mirren. St. Draw. <laughs> okay. And finish off, Celtic Aberdeen, Kev. Celtic. 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 There we go. And remember to take part, uh, guys, because who knows wins putting 10 grand up there. So. And then the big so, man will be back. You'll be back on the, keeping the ball on the ground with Andy, Sai, and we'll get the real. Course. You'll get right, right. Ah, you'll get the real dirt out. Right. Right. <laughs> on open goal FC, we're keeping it uh, lower leagues here. Uh, as much as we can, but no, it was brilliant having you on cut. Super. Slaney, Kev, as always. Pleasure, lads. Cheers. Thanks, boys.